If you watched my most recent video, you saw that I earned my U.S. Coast Guard approved OUPV captain's license. It was a great experience and working with the Mariner's Learning System was one of the reasons why I succeeded. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did it and how you can do it too on The Onboard Life. Okay. Even though you don't need to be a licensed captain to be the skipper of your own live aboard cruising boat, you've made the decision to jump in and get your OUPV six pack license. Good for you. But there are a lot of schools and aids to choose from to prepare you for the exams. Which one do you choose? As for me, I went with Mariner's Learning System. It's a very comprehensive system and I'm going to walk you through how it works so you can make a well-informed decision about which school or system is right for you. And please note, I'm not being paid by MLS for this video and my opinions are strictly my own. MLS is a kit. They call it a captain in a box and when you first open it, you will find a rather large practice chart of the Long Island Sound, 12 inch parallel rulers, dividers that hold their angle by friction, and a small box with pencils, a sharpener, and an eraser. There are also five soft cover textbooks, seamanship for the mariner, navigation for the mariner, navigational rules of the road, and two books on maritime law. There's also a navigation reference guidebook. This contains a light list, tide tables, and other reference material. It all comes in a handy briefcase box, and if you measured your investment by weight, you'd have to conclude you were getting your money's worth. The other part of the kit are the online resources. Most of the books are duplicated in the online system as flash documents, so you can choose to read from whichever you feel most comfortable with. For myself, I tended to do the initial studies of the curriculum in the actual soft cover books, but I switched to the online copies during my review studies and cramming. The OUVP material is divided into four modules, Rules of the Road, Deck Safety, Deck General, and Piloting and General Navigation. Each module is divided into several sections and subsections, each covering a different subject. Each subject has five task functions for you to execute. Understanding a lesson plan, understanding a syllabus, read the text about the subject either in the soft cover books or the flash version of the soft covered books, watch a narrated lecture and video, and take an online quiz. You can't skip any of the resources. You have to read, listen, watch, and do the assignments to pass. You will not be able to learn all the material you need to pass the exam if you skip or gloss over any of the parts. Not everything is in the books, nor are they online. You have to successfully complete each module and subsection in its entirety to pass the online quiz before you can move on to the next subject or module. At the end of it all, there are four exams that approximate the actual Coast Guard exam. You have to pass all four of those because you are then able to download a letter that certifies you have passed the practice tests that certifies that you may then take the actual Coast Guard exams. Now, one of the great parts of MLS is that they schedule and proctor the actual Coast Guard exams themselves rather than make you hustle to one of the actual U.S. Coast Guard regional exam centers. I live in Denver, and I was able to take the exams here produced by MLS rather than having to go out of state. And the closest Coast Guard exam center to Colorado is in St. Louis, Missouri. So for depth of information and for convenience, MLS was my choice for me to earn my U.S. Coast Guard OUPB captain's license. So, now I've taken and passed the exams, and I've gotten my diplomas from MLS, which are way cool, by the way. Now I have to do the paperwork, and there's a lot of that. I'll cover that in several weeks as soon as I have jumped into it with two feet. But I do have some pointers for you. First, plan, plan, plan ahead to put in a lot of time to satisfactorily learn the material. There are no shortcuts. You have to be committed to spending time on a consistent basis to get through it all. There's a lot of reading. The narrated lectures can seem long-winded, and there's a ton of technical nomenclature. You've got to dive deep into it. You also only have a year from when you enable your course to pass the exams, so you have to get cracking on it. Next, for the chart plotting, buy a 15-inch parallel ruler. The chart is big, and it was easier for me to move around on it than with the shorter rulers that came with the kit. 
also by a screw adjusted divider. I found that the supplied friction divider went out of adjustment while I was stepping along a plot line. You also need a large work area. I had access to a drafting table which worked great. And last, once you've finished the material and scheduled to take your test, cram, cram, cram all the questions over and over again. That's the questions in the books and online. Keep drilling until you know the questions and answers almost by heart. I'm not suggesting you memorize the questions to pass the test, but the questions are very nuanced and knowing and understanding the questions will make it much easier. You will learn the material this way too. Furthermore, the vast majority of the questions you get on the exam will be in the books or online. Keep drilling, especially the rules of the road. And when you're taking the actual exams, know that the chart plotting exam has the least number of questions, but it will take the longest to finish. And by far, the hardest part of the exam is the rules of the road. You have to get a 90% score on it. But for the other exams, you only need to get a 70% to pass. My scores were plotting 90%, navigation general 95%, and deck general 83%. I failed the rules of the road the first two times, but got 100% on the third try. And you only get three tries at the exams. If you can't pass them, you have to start all over again. Also, be aware that you need four things unrelated to the exams to get your license. First, you need a TWIC card. That stands for Transportation Worker Identification Credential. It's a background check, and you have to show proof you've been issued a card. There are centers all over the country where you can get one. There's a link in the description. You also need a drug test. Those may or may not be available at the same place you get your TWIC card. You'll have to check. Try to find an office that does the test. The third thing you need is a Coast Guard authorized medical examination, and they're not available everywhere either. I was not able to find a doctor out here in Colorado at all who could perform the examination. They could do a trucker, railroad, or air transportation exam, but not a Marine. I have to wait until we get down to Florida where I'll go see a Marine transportation testing specialist. You also need to take a Red Cross first aid and CPR class and be certified, but then that's a good idea anyway. So, those are the basics of studying for and earning your OUPV license using the Mariner's Learning System. You can also get your master's upgrade like I did. They also have packages for other endorsements such as towing and sail. On the downside, there's only a couple of points worth mentioning. First, you do need a decent amount of bandwidth, and at least on my computer, the controls for the videos were covered by a graphic. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it was a pain in the neck at times. Overall, my experience with MLS was a positive one, and besides, it worked, and that's what I was looking for. Well, that's it. How to earn your U.S. Coast Guard OUPV license with the Mariner's Learning System. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ask questions and make comments, and share it with everyone you know. Also, click the little bell so that you receive notifications whenever I post a new video, and connect with me on social media. Thanks for watching. See you next time on The Onboard Life.